Have you ever had one of those nights where you have something super important the next day? So you go to bed at a reasonably early hour because you know sleep is super important for memory and pretty much everything. But it's seven hours later and your brain still won't shut up. <sighs> Me too! Glad we're on the same page. One thing that absolutely just mind boggles me out of existence is how people can have a high stakes slash life changing event happening the next morning like a like a test or a battle and yet still have no problem falling asleep. People like my dad who can take like an hour nap before bedtime and have no issues whatsoever. Me, on the other hand, got like no sleep the night before I had to take my SAT test, even though I drank warm milk and took sleeping pills. So no, I did not do well on that test. Basically, I do not have the ability to channel my inner Snorlax, and it can be incredibly frustrating at times. There's only one person I have to blame. The culprit is indeed my brain. And maybe my mom, because she gave me these genes. But I love my mom. So what are you trying to say? You don't, you don't love your own brain? Nope, not all the time. I don't know if this is supposed to be groundbreaking or if it's just me being stupid, but I just realized that there is a difference between being sleepy and tired. Like tired refers to your body while sleepy refers to your brain. For example, like I can have one of those times where I go to bed feeling, oh, I'm so, so exhausted. exhausted. Then I find myself lying awake in bed thinking to myself, oh, I'm so, so exhausted. exhausted. Why am I still awake? <laughs> And then ultimately that just leaves you trapped in this state of complete suckiness. It's like you're so tired that you're too tired to fall asleep. I don't know if that makes sense. Anyways, like I wouldn't call what I've gone through insomnia, but there were definitely periods in my life where it just seemed that the instructions on how to fall asleep accidentally found its way in the recycle bin. And then every night it would just be me staring at like the ceiling or the wall or a black void behind my eyelids. And then, you know, four hours of doing that nonstop, the conversation starts. Psst, hey, are you still awake? Oh wait, Psst. stupid of me. Of course you are. Anyways, hey buddy. I was thinking that for this time, we could reflect on all the times a girl rejected you, and then we analyze every scenario that could have gone down. And then of course we can go through the usual hour session of contemplating questions like, am I really living up to my full potential? What could I be doing better? Am I really fulfilling my place in this universe? Do I really have to pee? And then we can finally close with two more hours of self-loathing. It's gonna be fun. I can excuse an all-nighter of autobiographical and universal existential reflections on Friday through Sunday, but if I have school or something important the next day, my brain just clearly hates me. Hey, listen buddy, I don't know if this is going to be helpful, but I just thought that I'd remind you about the importance of sleep on learning retention, you know, considering the fact that you've been awake for ooh, four hours now, which interestingly enough only subtracts from the nine hours of sleep science says you need. So if you really think about it, you literally only have one hour before we cross that threshold where sleep just doesn't matter. Okay, well, just something to think about. Good luck, buddy. It honestly got pretty bad. Like, it got to the point where I was aware of the sensations I felt before falling asleep. You know, like, thoughts beginning to drift, the, the brain sounds like it's drunk, even though I've never been drunk, so I'm not sure why I'm using this as a metaphor. But then just by acknowledging that, it would automatically just snap me out of falling asleep. Oh, here it comes. Okay, no sudden movements, or we might scare it away. Ha! No, 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 gosh, dang it. So... What can be done to help oneself fall asleep? If you have gone through the same thing, go ahead, share it in the comments below. You know, help someone out. It'll be like a comment potluck. But some things that did work for me were drinking cherry juice and taking melatonin supplements. Uh, people say melatonin is just a placebo effect, but works for me. Then again, that could just be the placebo. It does vary from person to person, but usually the main factors are diet and daily routine. So stop studying on your bed! Nowadays, I don't really have too many problems falling asleep. Most, if not all the times I do stay awake is because I'm still thinking about YouTube and trying to come up with new ideas. I know it's bad. 
and I've tried fixing this problem. Not much progress. Okay, I know that you said no thinking about YouTube stuff after bedtime, but hear me out because this idea is really cool and you should totally write this down. Otherwise, knowing you, you're probably not gonna remember this the next day. But I wouldn't say this one is as bad since there have been times I came up with some pretty good ideas lying awake in bed, but I'm just saying, there is a time and place for everything, and I would have preferred if I had come up with this idea earlier, say, during the day when I actually needed it, instead of now, because now this idea excites me and I want to explore this idea even further. Sleepiness is gone. So yeah, I would say it's a give and take, trading potentially good ideas for valuable hours of sleep. Is it worth it? Long term, probably not. But in conclusion, if you really want to get a good night's sleep, let me leave you with some wise words from my old high school chemistry teacher. You need to fix your life, you stupid fool. Ah, so much love. Psst, hey, this is your brain telling you that you want to subscribe to this wonderful piece of tofu because you really enjoyed his content and you want to see future uploads. In fact, you like this video so much that after this one, you're going to watch all of the other ones as well. I personally think that is a fantastic idea. And honestly, if you don't do this within the next few seconds, I will literally keep you up at night until you actually do subscribe. So do that. Also, you should probably get more sleep. So, okay, that's it. Also, stay safe and stay young.